Hi, everyone. Hi, how are you? Here we go. Happy Wednesday. It is jewelry party Wednesday, and I am here tonight uh, to show you all of the gorgeous and glamorous and fabulous pieces that we have here that have been released as part of our collection this week. Uh, so it's been a lot of fun. We have got a ton of great pieces. We've got a ton of amazing things going on. And uh, if you loved when we did our 12 days of Christmas giveaway back in December, you are gonna love what we have coming up. So be sure to stay tuned for that because tonight's theme is prizes and surprises. So we have got some gorgeous, beautiful jewelry here that you are gonna love. And I'm gonna chat with you a little bit about some of the special pieces that we have this evening. And uh, I'm also going to be pulling the winner for our $25 gift card. Uh, last week, we had a $25 gift card uh, that we gave away to one of the lovely ladies here who answered the question of the uh, week. And so we're gonna be doing that again. So it's really, really easy and uh, you'll have to stay tuned because I'll be chatting with you all about what the question is this week so that you can be entered to win our $25 gift card next week. So we've got a lot of fun and amazing things going on here. If you have just joined us, please say hello. Let us know where you're from. Tell me what the weather's doing by you. Tell me what you're wearing. Uh, and I'm, of course, going to chat with you and get you caught up on everything that's going on here at Vintage Meat Modern. And also give a really warm welcome to a lot of new friends that we have here. I see Sabrina's just said hello, Michelle has said hello, and I'm thrilled to see you all here. So one thing that we take very, very seriously here at Vintage Meat Modern is we do celebrate the joy of jewelry together. Uh, something that I love to talk about over and over again, which makes Vintage Meat Modern really special, hi Joan, but also makes getting to connect with all of you special is this amazing community of women that celebrate being together every week talking about jewelry. Uh, if you're part of my private Facebook group, I love for you to be in there. Uh, and that's just a little perfect example of that. Hi Rhonda, hi Claudia, hey Leanne. Uh, that somebody had just posted a beautiful picture of a coral and pearl ring, the lovely Sarah Jordan Hines. Sarah is a writer. She also wrote a fabulous article. We were the cover story for Antique Trader Magazine. If you have never seen that, head on over to VMM and check it out because there's a link to that. But she had posted a beautiful piece of antique vintage jewelry that had actually been gifted to her from her husband's side of the family. And, you know, those are the types of things that when we talk about celebrating the joy of jewelry together, Together and celebrate what Vintage Meat Modern is all about. That's one of the many amazing and fun facets of not just wearing and styling the jewelry, but getting to be part of the special community that it is too. And so we take welcoming those people who love to join us on this journey very seriously. If you haven't joined our private Facebook group, I encourage you to do so. If you have not had an opportunity um, to get to know us a little bit better, tonight's a great night to do that. But I do want to welcome our new friends because we've had quite a few of you join us. So a big warm welcome to Neva, Carmen, Brittany, Kathy, Cindy, Lolita, Amanda, Joanne, Michelle, Maxine, Morgan, Robin, Jessica, Joyce, Lane, Atia, Kristen, Stephanie, Nancy, Pat, Candy, Donita, Marianne, Jean, Barbara, Chris, Kimberly, Kimmy, Bonnie, Hillary, Julie, Cassie, Megan, Michaela, Beverly, Lindsay, Ruth Ann, Sean, Sam, Faye, Sarah, and Lucy Wilson. And I know that that's a lot of names all to be sharing with you at the same time. And many of you are thinking, oh my gosh, she called my name. And then many me, others of you are saying, she didn't call my name. And I do, I wanna call your name. I wanna get to know you better, whether you're an introvert or an extrovert. I know so many of us love talking about vintage jewelry. I know that we love getting to know each other better through vintage jewelry. And I know that many of us get to share those special stories, like I mentioned with Sarah Jordan Hines earlier, which is that Vintage jewelry is an amazing way to be able to celebrate the love that we have for somebody in the past. It's an amazing way to celebrate and to set ourselves apart today with some form of signature style. And it's an amazing way to be able to preserve a piece of history, whether it's your own family's personal history or just part of the fashion movement from the days that have gone by. It's a very powerful thing. And so I wanna thank all of you for being here and continuing to support it. So. That being the case, guess what? You have 
your special task for this evening to be entered into next week's drawing. And I'm gonna tell it to you now because I want you all to be able to celebrate this joy of jewelry with other people. We really want Vintage Meat Modern to be vintage meat everywhere. So here we go. Here is your task for tonight. If you want to be entered next week for an extra pull in the $25 gift card, all you need to do is tag a friend on this live. Let somebody know who Vintage Meat Modern is and what we're all about, and that's all you need to do. Just tag them here, tag a friend, let them know that we're live, let them know that we're gonna talk about how to look and feel your best by dressing in details, learn a little bit about why vintage jewelry is special along the way, and of course, meet some fun and fabulous friends. We got a lot of people who are tuned in on Facebook, we've got quite a few people who are tuned in on Instagram, and the fun part about all of that is many of these women have gotten to know each other uh, through our group and they have gotten to know each other through just being part of the Facebook lives and that's an incredible and a very empowering thing. Joan asks, how do you do that? It's really easy. You just hit the at symbol in the comments and start typing a friend's name in. That's how easy it is. So, you know, I would say at Sabrina, at Joan, at Rhonda, at Michelle, at Leanne, at Caitlin, at Claudia, at all of the people who I actually just mentioned. Also, all of those wonderful people who have joined us um, and have recently become part of our private Facebook group and have recently also liked our page. Thank you so much for being here. So that being the case, we got a lot of fun stuff going on here. I have a huge surprise that's coming tomorrow. So I hope that you will stay tuned because I'm of course gonna let my VIPs in on it first. Second of all, like I said, if you loved being part of the uh, 12 Days of Christmas giveaway, we've got something that's pretty fun coming up starting on Friday that's equally gonna be a blast and it's gonna be a great opportunity to learn about the jewelry and pick up a lot of pretties um, too. We got a lot of fun things planned and so it's gonna be great getting to know everybody and spend time with another. Uh, another thing is we've got an awesome collection that just came out. So we've got an amazing collection of vintage jewelry that came out this week and I had a lot of fun discussing about it. As you know, every collection is super intentional. So one thing that we take very seriously here at Vintage Meat Modern is that every piece that we have has to blend seamlessly with your modern wardrobe. So I've got a lot of gorgeous pieces and I'm gonna be talking to you about the history of them tonight. I'm gonna be talking about what pieces I would put with what pieces, as well as gonna be telling you about how easy it is to really wear with what you either have hanging in your closet or when you're strolling through the store, what you could put it with it to make it completely unique and distinctive to your own. Remember, everything I'm showing you here is out of production. It cannot easily be sourced again. And of course, if you'd like to add a pretty or two to your jewelry box and to your look, the link is right above. The lovely Leanne Winters uh, is Leanne Flowers, I should say. <laughs> the lovely Leanne Flowers is standing by tonight. Uh, she will be dropping links to any of the pieces. And of course, if you have any specific questions on pieces, flag me down, ask your question. Leanne has got a like red phone line to me behind the scenes here. If I'm not seeing your questions pop up on the um, screen and I will make sure that I answer them. So I love this week's collection. As you know, this week's collection is all about being able to wear things that are within the classics. And as well as there was a really great discussion uh, in one of the sustainable fashion foreign groups about dressing on trend, being timeless, and also being sustainable and being chic too. I'm always really excited to be able to participate in those conversations because I'm very part I am very, passionate about being sustainable, being intentional, and being chic at the same time, which you can all do. So the Pantone color of the year is classic blue. So clearly what we're gonna be seeing and being influenced by in the stores are lots of things that have different shades of blue. This week's collection had some really, really gorgeous blue pieces. So I'm starting off this evening by talking about how that one way in order to be able to incorporate this classic color, remember first of all, classic blue is a classic color. It's never going to go out of style. So it's very easy to be able to add gorgeous pieces like this to your look and sort of also be on trend at the same time. But we're also talking about a color that's a classic color, so it's really easy to be able to feel good about what you're gonna invest in today, tomorrow, and forever. 
So the first piece that I have up this evening is this gorgeous large butterfly. And it's sort of in a blue morpho style. It is a very nice piece that has a dark enameling on it. And the dark enameling features also a black body then with these beautiful large wings. This is a gorgeous piece to be able to wear a variety of different styles. First of all, I have got on a classic navy blue cashmere sweater. It is definitely one of those gorgeous colors that's really easy to actually wear with blue on blue. Hi, Kristen, thanks for joining us. So this is a lovely piece. As you can see, it's a nice larger size and scale, but it's still a lightweight piece. The enameling and the paintwork on it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, there's no flaws to the style at all. Uh, also, there's absolutely no wear to the plating whatsoever, as you can see in the back. It's been meticulously cared for. There's no cracking, there's no glazing. There's none of those condition type things that we worry about uh, when we do talk about the condition of vintage jewelry. This piece is actually in pristine condition. Uh, and as many of you know, I'm also sort of conducting a social experiment right now with the response that our last collection we had out, I had received a letter in my customer mailbag uh, from a customer who had met me live and in person. And she had said to me, I bought two brooches from you at Christmas time at Pottery Barn. I have decided to keep the brooches for myself instead of gifting them to my sister. Well, first of all, I can't say I blame you. You have excellent taste, but she went on to follow up and say that the reason being was that she hadn't found brooches any other places. So one thing that I like to remind people that makes Vintage Meat Modern special, and I've been kind of conducting this experiment this week, I have been calling around to local boutiques of the places where we all shop, because I also asked people where they shop for their clothes, and every single shop that I called actually told me they had no brooches or pins in stock. So for those of you who are looking for an accessory that is also unique and is also something that's very functional, you know I always tell you you buy the brooch. The brooch is obviously one of the best accessories that you can add to your jewelry box. And the reason is it always fits. It's not even like a ring or a necklace or even earrings where you might have to be concerned about the weight or the size or something. The brooch is really the one size fits all. Um, this piece is an obviously one that's really easy to wear because there's a lot of different things that you can easily be able to do with it. So the brooch, this type of brooch is a nice size, nice scale, and it's got several things that are going for it. First of all, it's the condition. The condition and the color is gorgeous. Uh, the next part that we have that goes along with it that's really fantastic is the size and the scale. It fills obviously the size of a blouse or a sweater very nicely and you can even, as you see, very easily mix it with wearing a necklace. Uh, the last thing that I love about this one is that you could wear this very easily um, a multitude of ways. So for those of you who like to take a little bit of risk with fashion, this is actually a perfect one to tuck into a bow or into a bun. This is a great piece to be able to wear up in your hair. This makes a nice piece to be able to close a pashmina. This is a great piece to also be able to adorn your clutch or your handbag. You can even go one step further if you're not pinning it to the handbag. You could actually even put this through a leather strap and have this go through the front too. But this is one of my personal favorite pieces and it's the piece that I'm kicking this evening off with. Uh, in terms of butterflies, it's a gorgeous one. It's a nice large one. We had a vintage Art Deco Diamante Coro butterfly and floop, just like this one's gonna fly away now so that I can talk about a different piece. Butterflies move really quickly around here. So if you love this piece, it's time to have this one go ahead and join your collection. Uh, next up, I'm gonna talk about some more pretty brooches that we have, because I'm just on a kick with the brooches. Look at these sweet little 1940s scatter pins that we have. These are both signed Coro. Um, this one is a classic blue with more of a sapphire undertone, and this one is a deep emerald color. I love these because if you love being able to put collections together, these just look so sweet together. Uh, they're a very nice size, very nice scale. They go very nicely with different shades of blue and green, and they complement other pieces together. I always love pieces that you can very easily be able to layer up on. There's a lot of unique things that you could do with this also. You could wear these both on the pinpoints of your blouses and have a blue one and a green one on both sides. Uh, you can fill them together and put them on your jean jacket or on your sweater. You can of course wear them alone. You can wear them medallion style and at the point of a v-neck sweater like I have, but I like the two of them together. I like the two of them together because they go very nicely with several of the other pieces that we have. 
So we actually have a blue and a green earring here that I'm showing you. Uh, this one features a faux jade with sort of a sapphire color. And when we're talking about these little blue and green brooches that we have, if you're looking for a little earring to pick up on the blue and the green, it's like I need an extra hand here. Uh, if you're looking for colors to pick up on the blue and the green, I love the blue and the green with the little earrings that we have here. So there's a lot of different things that you could be able to do with this one. Uh, the other thing I like about this one, especially the little blue one, is the little blue one has got some pearls going around it. So this is an easy one to be able to mix with other pearl jewelry or just little pearl stud earrings if you always like wearing an earring with either your necklace, your brooch, or your bracelet. Uh, the emerald one does not have any a little extra embellishments around it, but it does look really sweet. It's the perfect size to put together with the little green one. We did have a little petite red medallion brooch last week. And if you put the red and the green and the blue together, you get that kind of mogul effect, I guess you could say. Those jewel tone colors that have been always associated with royalty. They always pull off a very rich and elegant sort of color scheme. So if you like being able to put blue and red together, green and red together, or blue, green, and red together, which like I said, is sort of that mogul trinity, we've got some gorgeous pieces that you can kind of layer up. I, of course, love being able to fill a sweater uh, very easily. These are nice size, nice scale, and they are both signed coral. They're both signed pieces, which also makes them nice. Moving on, we also have another gorgeous brooch. So we talked a little bit about blues and greens together. Now let's talk about this brooch, which is literally an Aurora Borealis piece that has got the blue and green colored peacock rhinestones together. So this is a lovely sort of mid-century modern swag style, kind of has sort of a leaf design, and then it's got a bejeweled encrusting and the blue and the green in the iridescence. This is a nice ode to the iridescent and the mid-century modern design designs of the 1950s. Uh, it has a nice sort of elongated shape. There's several ways that you could easily be able to wear this one. Uh, great piece, again, also to put with classic blue as the Pantone color of the year. But this, of course, looks really great with your classic white. This looks very lovely against gray. This looks very graceful with the elegant colors of emerald green. Lots of different ways to be able to wear this one. Uh, you can also do something a little more dramatic with this one. If you get one of the little brooch converters that we have that has the vertical piece on it, you could insert the vertical piece and you could make this a very dramatic, sexy piece by actually having this dangle like a long pendant. Or you could actually place it up higher and you know wear it on like a wire choker or a ribbon and you could wear it closer up as well. You could of course wear it though from left to right. You could go across a twin set like I do frequently or you could even wear it across and in the center sort of medallion style, which is another way that I talk about how easy it is to wear a brooch. This one also goes very nicely with the blue and the green earrings. As you can see, it'll bring out both the sapphire color and the jade color. And this truly also has that iridescent Aurora Borealis color changing stone, which of course was invented in the 1950s. Uh, it was a process that Mr. Dior had worked with the Swarovski company to get that iridescent backing that was supposed to be reminiscent of the Northern Lights. Yesterday was Mr. Dior's birthday. So just a little fun history about the history of Aurora Borealis. The other thing is Aurora Borealis jewelry wasn't invented until the 1950s. So that fancy iridescent look that you see is always post 1950s. And it is one of those iconic kind of styles that we see over and over again. But iridescence and metallics are always trending. Um, it's just different shades come and go, but keep in mind that accessories are always the perfect dose of adding that trend to whether you're wearing all sparkles or you're complementing just a classic neutral palette. Uh, these are easy pieces to either dress up and dress down. If you're like me and you like wearing things that sort of are a little bit more unique, I don't even think twice about actually layering up on my sparkles with even more sparkles. So this is a great piece. It's a nice size, it's a nice scale. It goes nicely with several other pieces that we have. Uh, my, my picks to coordinate it with it are the little earrings with the jade and the sapphire. And then we have a gorgeous teal or sort of aqua color cocktail statement ring. Uh, this one does not have an Aurora Borealis finish to it, but as you can see, it picks up on that same 
blue-green sort of peacocky color. Uh, this one is a nice 1980s cocktail ring. It's a very heavily 18 karat gold plated. It has more of a mod sort of clean design to it. But like I said, it picks up on that iridescent sparkle of both the blue and the green really nicely. Very intriguing. Uh, the color of it is obviously one that has a little bit of mystery to it, but you can also play up very nicely both your warm and your cool tones with it, depending on what you would put with it. Uh, this color is always very popular here at Vintage Meat Modern, this sort of tealy aqua color. Uh, it's a fun one that goes with lots of different things. This ring is a perfect right hand ring and a perfect cocktail ring, but I can't impress upon you more how perfectly it goes with this brooch. So if you've got your eye on this one, I'm telling you this is a great piece. It's a fabulous mid-century modern find. It goes very lovely with the ring and we have a pair of matching earrings to go with it too. Remember, I'm always telling you to build upon those sets with everything all together because it really does give you a very elegant, very polished look that you can't achieve uh, very easily because they don't sell the sets of all of these pieces together anymore in the jewelry or the department stores. So if you love those sort of polished looks, go ahead, treat yourself to all three pieces. You won't regret it. All right. So we've talked about those lovely pieces. Now let's talk a little bit about some of the pieces that we have that go with the classic blue like I have on. So yesterday I wore the classic blue uh, and I had on sort of a goldenrod colored uh, marigold sweater and it was from J. Crew via Threadoff because I like to shop uh, sustainably when I can also. Uh, but I put the classic blue jewelry with the marigold color. Now today I am taking that marigold color and I am putting it with the classic blue. So here's your little fun history lesson. Um, the pieces that we have tonight, the other thing is really great about that is we've got tons of pieces that are under $50. So if you've never treated yourself to something from Vintage Meat Modern, now is the time to do it. This necklace has got a lot going for it. First of all, it's a classic. It's a 1950s style design. It's not signed, uh, but it does have a moon glow to it. Your history lesson, if you head on over to my blog, I talked a little bit about how the Moon Glow jewelry was invented in the very late 40s, very early 50s. Uh, it's increasingly more collectible than it was in the past because it's a form of lucite. It also has that pearlescent glow. It was supposed to literally mimic the moon. And we kind of grew to enjoy it through a lot of companies, including Richelieu, Coro and Lisner. The pieces are a very high quality and the fact that they've got this very luxurious luminescent glow to it makes them a nice addition, makes them sort of a nice different kind of take on the pearl, I guess you could say. Uh, they're very lightweight, very well made. There's the lucite is got just really nice coloring to it. Doesn't have any flaws or any bubbles or anything like that. Uh, so when you get up close to it, you really feel this sort of luminescent glow. Uh, the yellow is really beautiful because it's a nice take on, like I said, the pearls, except in a yellow tone. Now remember, other thing that I talked a lot about this week is that yellow is also the color of happiness. So for those of you who love wearing jewelry and love wearing colors that are sort of indicative of your mood or of your personal style, remember blue is a classic color, yellow is a color for happy. This is another great piece. This one is a nice longer one. It is lightweight. Uh, it does have a pair of matching earrings that I had tried on that are earlier. Uh, the earrings are not signed either, uh, but they're a nice cluster button style design. And for those of you who shy away from wearing yellow in your clothes, this is an easy way to wear yellow without having to wear a yellow shirt. So we've got a little matching earring in yellow. We've got the long pendant necklace, another one that's really easy to be able to layer or wear itself. And if you're not a fan of the necklace, we've even got a couple other pieces that match with it too. Uh, we have three amazing, awesome extension bracelets that match the Moon Glow pieces that we have this week. So the Moon Glow bracelet features the pearlized and the goldish yellow, and then it's got the luminescent bubble beads and the lucite. Uh, lots of things going for this gorgeous piece, which is one, it's under $50. Second, it's very elegant. 
The third, you don't need it to be a doorman bracelet, as I refer to it. For those of you who have hung around here long enough, you know the doorman bracelet is the one that you have to ask your either neighbor, doorman, boyfriend, significant other, uh, or children, uh, even in my case, to help you put on your jewelry. This is an open back cuff style, and it uh, fits an extra small all the way to an extra large wrist up. It's really fun to be able to wear all of the pieces together. So, you know, you can think about how classic it is and easy to wear this in winter with just like I said, classic cashmere sweater, jeans, some cute flats. I've got some gold Tory Birch flats on today, a little bit of the earring, really boom, all put together. Like I said, great look. But in the summer, this would be really fun to wear with like tropical prints and classic black and white. Uh, it would look great with banana leaf print. Like there's a lot of fun things that you would be able to do with this. And then last, if you like wearing a lot of neutrals, I love wearing yellow with both black and gray. So this is a nice way of being able to add a color uh, without your traditional silver or gold. I think I've said a lot about these pieces. I can't wait for someone to add them to their jewelry box. You won't be disappointed if you do. It's a really, really pretty piece and it's very easy to wear. So we've got this piece that is in the yellow with the bracelet. We have the matching necklace. And again, do not hesitate that if you have questions to ask, please ask them. We've got this gorgeous yellow bracelet, we've got the necklace, and we have the earrings. But if that is not your cup of tea, we also have a couple other gorgeous pieces. So we have another gorgeous necklace, and this one features sort of a peach morganite pearl, a cream true ivory pearl, and sort of an olive-y color that goes with it. This equally looks gorgeous with the blue. Hello girls, thanks for joining us. We've got some more friends. Um, so this lovely piece is an adjustable piece. Again, it's an authentic 1950s and it features the crystal. These are not lucite beads mixed in with the faux pearls. This one also has got a very lovely expansion bracelet in the faux pearls with the crystals that have been moved into it. Again, this is also a memory wire piece also under $50. And this one also is a great one because it can easily be worn with, again, classic other pearl pieces. It goes very nicely with the matching necklace. And it also, as you can see, very easily goes with shades of navy, even though this has a bit of a pastel undertone. This would be very lovely for those of you who love warm undertoned. So if you love wearing things that are in that camo print, if you like wearing things in olive green, if you like like wearing things in sort of that rosy blush color. This would look very nice with all of those types of colors as well. But as you can see, the pearls are always classic with a classic navy or classic blue too. What's fantastic about this one is besides the fact that we have the bracelet, we have the necklace, we've got the earrings too. So these are a lovely cluster style. And for those of you who say, I can't wear cliff earrings, remember, we do sell comfort cliff backs and as well as those little silicone um, ear pads, which we always say is like the Dr. Scholl's for cliff earrings. Uh, but these are really, really super lightweight really lightweight. You can very comfortably wear these all day long and enjoy them. Uh, the pearls also on here, they have just, they're a faux pearl, but they have a little bit of texturing. So they've got a little bit of depth to them, a little bit of design interest. And this is very, again, very comfortable and very easy to wear. Moves with you, expands with you. Uh, you know, you can easily mix it with other pearl jewelry. And again, for those of you who are my teeny tiny little wrist girls, which you're always saying, I love the bracelets, Veronica, but they're too big for me. This will fit an extra small wrist going all the way up to an extra large. And those of you who like something that can easily be made a little bit more bohemian chic, this has got the colors that have the earth tones to be able to do for that. For those of you who gravitate towards more of the preppy and classic styles, you have both an oversized earring that can go that way, or you can go as classic and distinctive and refined as sort of your Grace Kelly and Jacqueline Kennedy style. Lots of flexibility with these three gorgeous pieces. All right. I think that we have talked enough about those pieces. Again, if you have any questions about any of the pieces that you're seeing, you can find everything at Vintage Meet Modern uh, by either clicking the link that is above or you can just grab the link here while Ms. Leanne is giving them out. 
Everyone give Ms. Leanne a round of applause. She does such a good job. She has no idea what I'm going to pull out next. She's just sitting there like, you know, the second I pull up something saying, all right, I can find it. So everybody say hello to Ms. Leanne and thank her for all of our hard work. Uh, this is also another lovely double strand piece that we have. Uh, we were just talking about earlier today, my daughter is actually gonna be a junior and she's getting ready to go to junior prom. And she said earlier today that she wanted to do colors that were real bright, like a bright orange or a bright yellow. For, for those of you who love a classic blue again and love to be able to wear different shades of it, this is a super fun one that we have also. This is the mod yellow necklace and the hot like kind of neon yellow color with the beads that are built into it. This is like, tropical punch and sunshine all at the same time. Now, what I love about this particular piece is this one has got uh, a J-hook extender. So obviously it's very comfortable, very easy to wear. And it's also a double strand. So it fills the neckline really, really nicely. It's also really lightweight. So for those of you who work all day long and get up very early and then also, you know, have a full day, I always try to tell people that it's important to invest in pieces that can also be comfortable comfortably worn all day long. So this definitely falls into that category. It definitely also is a vintage piece that's easy to mix with your modern styles. So if you love being able to shop at places like we do, like J. Crew, Talbots, uh, Nordstrom, there's plenty of things that you can find either hanging in your closet or out at the store that you would be able to easily put this with. Again, I like the brighter colors because I think if you wear a lot of classic black and white, if you wear a lot of classic blue, it's really easy to be able to add a pop of color and distinction by putting on a little necklace like this. And again, this is another fun one. Uh, uh, and it's also really easy to adjust and put on and put off. So those are all of my yellow fun finds. We had a lot of yellow this week. And let's not forget, before I like say goodnight to the yellows, uh, that three-piece set that we have with even those moon glow pieces, there's even a matching barrette. Uh, hair adornment is huge right now. So if you've been shopping and you've been out over at Target, if you've been shopping at Anthropology, if you've been to Nordstrom, if you've been to Neiman Marcus, you'll see that uh, barrettes and you'll see that, you know, beaded headbands with, you know, sort of both turban styles, different floral type pieces, uh, different types of pearl, diamonds sort of encrusted, diamante ones and everything is always trending. But I will say authentically, women really loved wearing different types of hair adornment in the 1950s as well. So, you know, we're thinking your classic French twists and your beehives. Um, it's always fun to have authentic pieces that are also of the highest quality. So the highest quality pieces ones are obviously ones made that we have of the lucite that I've been talking about tonight. Um, sort of that ode to the moon glow style and sort of the importance of the introduction of different plastics and materials with the vintage jewelry movement, which wasn't vintage at the time. Um, we do have a lovely barrette that's here and it matches all the other pieces. As you can see, I am a dark haired girl. So having this yellow actually pop within it is really, really pretty. Very easy to tease this up and then be able to wear in the back of the hair. So super fun piece that we have. Okay. Let's talk about some of the other classic pieces that we have, uh, and then we'll talk about some of the brooches. Let's go all the way back now. So let's talk about some of those gorgeous Art Deco pieces that we had because I feel like they don't show up on the website as well um, against the white background because the crystal is so clear and beautiful that you really need to see it up on somebody. So Art Deco jewelry was sort of our theme at the beginning of the month. Uh, as you know, like I said, we're very intentional about the collections that we put together. And at the beginning of last year, I had worked with uh, an Art Deco collector that had a lot of gorgeous just beads. We get a lot of requests for Czech crystal and authentic Art Deco necklaces. Uh, say it's the rise of Downton Abbey, say it's all the people who love Great Gatsby, uh, but I think one of the things that we all love about the classic Art Deco jewelry is obviously the quality, the sparkle of the crystal, the uniqueness of it because you can't really find things like this easily, uh, but also the wearability. 
when you've got something that is neutral but unique, it does make it very easy to put it on. These pieces are of the highest quality. They are gorgeous, faceted rock crystal pieces, uh, and they are from the Czech Republic. This one has got a light blue bead that has been put in front of it. As you can see, I've got on a darker blue tonight. It's very easy to mix the lighter blue with the darker blue, sort of that monochrome look. And then of course, you've got the crystal that goes with it too. Uh, it does have just a very delicate, but an enchanting facet to it. So as you can see, it catches the light very nicely. And these are nice because they're a little longer. I am always very honest about how that I like the size and the fit of things to fit me. Uh, and this one hangs like between an 18 and a 19 inch. So for those of you who love the Art Deco jewelry, but know that from time to time, uh, the necklaces always seem to be shorter or in that 15 inch range, this one is actually a little longer. Now I'm getting to that part in the show where I'm nervous that it's gonna get stuck on me and I won't be able to take it off. Uh, but these are gorgeous. They're sort of like a little bit of an elongated bead like you can see. Um, they are flat cut on the top and then they've got some traditional rondelle styles that have been cut and put in between. Uh, these are also hand knotted. It does have a sterling filigree pearl type clasp. Uh, which we did have somebody ask the other day on how to put these in. And it kind of is a little bit like a loop. You know, you hook the U into it uh, and then you go back and then you slide it in and then it has a little bit of a push clasp on it. Very secure, uh, takes a little bit of time to figure out how to go ahead and get it on. But once you get it the first time, you'll always be good wearing it. So we've got this lovely one, which has got the traditional blue that goes with it. And then we have another unique one, and this one has got sort of a tealy turquoise that is with it. Um, this one has got a little bit of an older clasp on it. It's got a push down clasp on it. You can see this teeny tiny little mechanism here that you push in. It also has a sterling clasp, uh, and it is a very delicate clasp. So I'm gonna try not to get myself too nervous and too worked up while putting it on, because as you know, like I said, my nervous is that I'm always going to get it stuck on me and then won't be able to get it off. This one hangs even lower than the one that I just showed you, but this one has got this gorgeous turquoise crackled bead. Uh, this one is a nice way of having a juxtaposition of elements in it. So this one has got these heavy faceted crystal beads that you can see in between it, but then this sort of molted sort of free form glass bead that's in between the beads. So this one is kind of a nice take on having something that is very structured with something that has more of an organic style. But I think what makes this one so gorgeous is obviously the lighter color balance. So I love being able to put the turquoise with the navy, but I like being able to put this sort of turquoise tealy color also with magenta, plum, and then of course all of your neutrals from your gray, white, black, winter white together too. Um, just a really, really unique piece and for those of you who always are craving that Art Deco crystal, these are both work, worth taking a closer look on the website. Very elegant, very polished, very sparkly and they're not like even your traditional 1950s Aurora Borealis crystal pieces. You can definitely feel in the size and the weight of the crystal on these um, and also you really get a feeling of that sort of antique and that more Art Deco era uh, that we love when you're actually touching the materials. Very, very nice finds, I will say in terms of unique pieces that we have. All right, moving on, let's talk about some of the other fun pieces that we have this week. We'll wind out by talking a little bit about this gorgeous blue azurite bead necklace that we have. Um, I had decided during the week that if I was going to say this reminded me of anything, uh, this particular piece reminds me of the earth. It has both a blue and a green bead to it, and it's got a bright emerald green that is in the between the blue and green beads. And taking it back, if you were here at the beginning of the show, you know that I showed you we had these really beautiful little blue and green beads um, and blue and green coral brooches. The blue and green coral brooches just happened to go perfect with the blue and green um, necklace. So this Azurite bead necklace features a deep emerald green bead that's in the center, and it does feature a screw together clasp, and it does look really nice with the vintage coral brooches. Uh, this one's also nicer because it's longer. Uh, for for the, those of you that are like a classic t-shirt 
shirt-wearing gal, you just like a white background with a white t-shirt. This pops so nicely against bright white. Just really, really gorgeous coloring. And then of course, you've got the accents of the blue and the green. And if you take a closer look at the beads, like I said, if you are an earth lover, uh, it does look like you're looking at little earths from space. There's lots of little blue and green. It looks like little land and ocean everywhere you look. So this piece has that magical 1940s quality to it. Very bright and vibrant and just beautiful colors. Uh, just a great piece to be able to add to your collection. It's one that I'm sure that you would enjoy wearing over and over again and get lots of compliments on it too. And you have to tell me that if you had it, if it reminds you of the earth, because that's what it reminds me of. All right, let's talk about another classic moon glow piece that we have. We have got this long turquoise necklace. So this is a long turquoise moon glow. I talked a little bit about the history of moon glow earlier uh, and that how it was a sort of a plastic that had been discovered uh, when we were talking about the Lucite movement. And then this was a pearlescent that was created to mimic the looks of the moon glow and of pearls. This is a really beautiful, fun, it's a infinity strand, so it has no clasp, it goes right over the head. Like I started wearing the yellow one at the beginning of the evening, this is the turquoise version of it. And as you can see, this has just got that gorgeous turquoise glow to it. So turquoise is obviously um, our signature color here at Vintage Meat Modern. It's the color of friendship and it's also the color of our logo. So obviously we love these pieces that are like this, um, but this is a great one. Again, this is another fantastic find. This piece is under $50 and it is an authentic 1950s piece. It's got beautiful coloring, it's got great presence and it's lightweight, so it's easy to wear. There's also a really lovely pair of earrings that we have. Uh, matches in sort of the same turquoise shade. There's a little pair of moon glow earrings and each of them are different than your traditional moon glow pieces. We sort of showed you a little bit earlier how we had like the pearl cluster earrings, which we are more familiar with when we're talking about. These actually do, one of our other clients said they look like little blue bells. They kind of do. They have little sort of little beads and then each of them is dotted with a little turquoise and then it has a tiny little green leaf behind it also. So these are a nice size. They do have sort of a nice cluster shape to them. Uh, they're lightweight, so they go very easily on the ear and they're very comfortable to wear. They also have just that teeniest, tiniest little bit of sparkle uh, with the little rhinestones that have been attached to them. And then of course it goes perfectly with the turquoise necklace. Now, if you're not a fan of the turquoise necklace, but you're kind of falling in love with the earrings, there are some other fun turquoise pieces that we have that go along this week too. So this is more of a true turquoise. This actually reminds me of a Victorian revival style. It's funny, Mr. Vintage Meat Modern asked me yesterday, he said, well, what's your favorite birthstone besides your own? And I said, well, I said turquoise is my birthstone, which is true, but I said I prefer the turquoise that does remind us of the Victorian or the Persian turquoise that has the like pure cabochons that go along with it. And so this is an example of one of those styles of pieces. This is a vintage Crown Trafari bracelet. It's another awesome mid-century modern find. It has got the sort of XO style design with it, and then it's got the faux turquoise that's in between. Uh, the gold is obviously very elegant and very polished. And so for those of you who love that classic Victorian style turquoise, as well as you like the mid-century modern pieces, as well as Trafari always has very high quality jewelry. If this piece is from the 1950s and it's in this good of condition today, with minimal care and upkeep, you'll be able to enjoy it for decades more. So we've got this gorgeous piece and that's also new this week. We also have got a great mid-century modern, you know, pure turquoise little bead. These are pierced, which is awesome because we get lots of requests for pierced earrings, but we don't get them very often because the clips are obviously more in keeping with what was popular in the 1950s and 1960s. But this lovely piece goes awesome with these little turquoise bubble bead earrings that we have. Um, they're a pierced earring. As you can see, they kind of dangle on down. Um, they're a nice, fun, mod 1950s, 1960s style. Uh, they've got just a teeny little bit of gold capped off with them and they go absolutely perfect with the vintage crown Trafari bracelet. So those are also new this week. 
And uh, let's talk a few minutes now about some of those gorgeous brooches that we have. Um, we're going to totally shift gears now and talk about these gorgeous, huge jet brooches that we have. Um, these lovely pieces are all vintage Austria. They feature a black metal Japan finish, and we've got quite a few lovely ones. So for those of you who have been hanging out and have been enjoying all the colors, now is your choice for us to be able to talk about some of the mysterious, elegant, uh, but more neutral style pieces that we have too. So we think more when we think of the 1950s and we think of the Art Deco rhinestone style jewelry, obviously we think more about the Diamante pieces or the Aurora Borealis or the bright colorful ones. But another thing that was very popular in the 1950s, 1960s is the classic French jet revival with these types of pieces that feature the jet colored rhinestones. So these are great because they literally go with everything. I mean, the black and actually navy is actually a really fantastic color combination. But if you have like a camel colored coat, if you wear winter white, uh, if you wear anything with like your tweed or your boucle styles, these look very elegant and very dramatic that are on them. We have got four amazing vintage jet brooches. And I don't suspect they're gonna be hanging around very long because they have beautiful, nice larger stones and they're a nice larger style and scale. So we've got the round one, which is a wreath style. Uh, and we can compare that. We also have got one that is like a pinwheel style as well. So we've got the nice large round. Um, this one has got a little bit more of, I guess, a structured look to it. Uh, this one is a little bit more floral inspired and it's got some more curves to it. This also features larger jet style stones and this one also has got a combination of some marquees as well as some round ones that are set in it. So we've got this lovely piece that is also part of this week's collection. Uh, moving on to brooch number three, which is also part of the jet. So this one has got a leaf style design. Uh, this, as you can see, it's just got like little black flecks of glitter. This also looks really gorgeous on gray. So if you have a deep heather gray, if you have got a lighter colored gray coat, these look very dynamic against gray. Uh, this also looks very nice with shades of lavender and purple. And it's another one, obviously, that looks great against cream. So this one is the leaf size that we have that features with the jet crystal too. Uh, then last but not least, we have a nice large sort of floral uh, that also kind of features sort of a starburst style design. So this one's sort of a star style design. This one also features the jet rhinestones, not one stone out of place. And in terms of the black enamel Japan metal finish, uh, no wear to the plating and no metal loss or enamel loss at all. I love all of these either together. Like I said, we've got quite a large selection of them. We've got the floral one, we've got the larger leaf, we have got the round one, and then we've got sort of a medallion one that's got a floral design to it. Lots and lots of beautiful pieces. And we have some gorgeous matching earrings to go with them. So we feature two earrings in both the jet this week that both have those sort of romantic qualities to them. Uh, this is the larger one, and this one features a nice large jet earring, and this one has the nice French jet at the top with the dangling beads. This one goes obviously super, super nice. Uh, with this one, it has sort of the same sort of round styles, but it goes with all of the jet brooches that we have this week too. Uh, the black is obviously very elegant, very mysterious, a little bit sexy, got a lot of fun things going on with it. This one is the chunkier of the two jet earrings that we have this week. We also have a more refined pair uh, that features just some little brass caps too. What I'd love to point out to people is that this is actually jet down here. This is actually faceted crystal going all the way around. Uh, this is not plastic or lucite. These are true jet and the way that the workmanship with this one is just so beautiful. Plus it's got that little door knocker style. This one is a screw back. So this one, if for those of you who are kind of new to wearing clip earrings, I always remind people like the screwbacks are kind of a nice alternative because you can adjust the tension on them. 
but this one obviously goes great with other classic gold jewelry it has just the right hint of gold um, which is connecting the little door knocker part to it but this one also is a nice one too this one also goes very nicely with all of the jet pieces that we are showing you in terms of the brooches so lots of different options in order to be able to wear things you tell me which one you like better uh, they're different but they're the same uh, this one like I said this one is a little bit it has a little more of an antique feel to it this one has got a little bit more of a glam 1950s feel to it but they are equally gorgeous and equally easy to wear and you of course can wear them by themselves or you can wear them with the other pieces so we've got lots and lots of gorgeous pieces as long as we're talking about earrings uh, we can talk about how that we've got some fun mid-century modern pieces as well too. So obviously again, I've got the classic blue on today. Uh, another fun way that if you weren't a fan of the yellow, uh, it's always fun to be able to add a little bit of the pop of orange. So the orange little door knocker mid-century modern earrings are super cute. These are also authentic vintage and they're really easy and just fun to wear. They also look really great also with the turquoise uh, moon glow necklace that I just showed a few minutes ago. So if you like being able to wear turquoise and kind of corally colors together, uh, super fun to be able to kind of layer up all these pieces together. And you can certainly be able to wear them with, you know, a nice large brooch like this, bring out the blue and the orange play together really, really super nicely. So these are fun also. Another fun mid-century modern find, uh, for those of you who like the more mod style pieces, we've got a very nice necklace from uh, Bergeret. Uh, this one is features sort of a moon with a crescent with the lucite inside of it. And this one is nice because it's a little bit longer, but as you can see, it's got a nice mod silver style design to it. Features a nice little brushed silver tone uh, kind of frame that goes along with it. And there is a matching pair of earrings here too. So for those of you who like pieces that feature a little bit of silver, uh, this is a nice mid-century modern set that we have as well too. And then of course it goes very nicely with classic navy, like blue on blue, but it's also really easy to obviously be able to wear with other classic silver pieces and it fills the neck really nicely also. This is a very, very nice set. Very nice composition, really, really great materials, really easy to be able to wear. Um, and I just love the brushed silver tone. It's such a nice kind of elegant frosty feeling to it. Going back to the 70s, how are you girls doing out there? I would love to hear which is your favorite when you're thinking about those jet earrings. Are you a team door knocker or are you team crystal bead? I like the door knocker, but I don't know. It's a very close second. So you'll have to tell me which one do you like better? Do you like the door knocker style or do you like the jet bead style? I'm curious which is everybody's favorite. All right, um, we've got a fun, sort of great kind of cocktail fun 1950s ring. You know, Lucite is always very popular, very collectible. Uh, this one kind of reminds me of a disco ball. This also, it has kind of a Weiss feeling to it, but it's unsigned. This is a large piece of Lucite and it has been encrusted with a rainbow of crystals. So this one has uh, a periwinkle, a pink, a gold, a green. This one is a gorgeous piece. It's also adjustable. So for those of you who like being able to wear adjustable rings, this is a super fun one. It also goes really nicely with all of the jet jewelry. So if you like wearing classic black, I know Rhonda's on here tonight. She's a jet bead crystal girl. Um, this is a fun one to be able to mix with your classic black jewelry, but it also has got a myriad of different kinds of colors of rhinestone too. So lots of different things that you would be able to do. It's definitely a kapow ring. It's got some size to it, uh, but every crystal is in place and it is in great condition too. Uh, it's light enough to be able to wear comfortably all day long and the fact that it's got the adjustable band is like a real upsell to me because that way when your fingers swell, uh, you can easily be able to still get this one on and off easily and comfortably. So this is another fun one that we have added to this week's collection. Uh, for those of you who like something that's really unique, uh, you know, when you think about uh, the pieces that are nice and huge, sort of the couture styling, uh, this is a really fun, fantastic bracelet. This is a Lucite bracelet that has a panel of silver mesh that's inside of it. 
So for those of you who are familiar with Whiting and Davis, of course, they're known for their silver mesh bags or the chain mail style. This is actually encased inside of this large bracelet. This is a really, really fun bracelet. As you can see, this one would be one that would be easy to wear over the cuff of a sweater. Uh, it'd also be very sexy with a sleeveless tank. So this is a fun one. It's got the huge silver in it. It would be great to be able to wear with just a pair of big silver hoop earrings. Uh, you could also wear this with lots and lots of layered silver necklaces. Uh, very well made, very unique, as you can see, huge, over three inches wide, uh, but very comfortable and very easy to get on and off. Definitely one of those showstopper 1970s sort of couture style pieces. This is new and we just added this also. And uh, let's talk a little bit about one of the other couture style pieces that we have. I know a lot of people have been asking about this one. This is an Imani Bulati brooch. And this features a carved bone with a sterling silver sparrow. Uh, this is an artist signed piece. It is set with a sterling silver and the hallmark that's on the back here. And for those of you who like pieces that have a little bit of whimsy but enchantment to it also, this is obviously a nicer, larger style piece. It also does have that artisan quality to it. For so those of you who crave the pieces that have more of an artist sort of signature style and flair to it, that is definitely the style of piece. It also has really, really beautiful workmanship. Um, you know, just raising your fingers across it, you obviously feel the juxtaposition of the smooth with the carved bone uh, then with the sterling silver that it's over it so you've got the different compositions with that and then of course you've got the play on the patina de silver with the kind of creamy bone color with it too this one's a nice big huge brooch also so for those of you who like wearing larger statement style pieces um, this is a unique one as well too uh, it doesn't mean that you couldn't obviously wear this one on the side of your favorite jacket or your favorite coat or your favorite sweater. Uh, just so, because it is a larger size though, you would easily be able to wear this pieces with other pieces. For those of you who sort of like the styles of like Eskender or you know, if you like Jill Sander, these would be a really, really lovely piece to put with those sort of tunic style clothing. Um, this would also look really, really nice on linen. So this is another gorgeous find. This is a rare find. Uh, I could not find another one that was out there like this with the sparrow on top of the bone. Um, so if you have a chance to go over to the website and then look up a little more information on him, you'll see that his pieces are very collectible. So this may be one that if you are a more serious collector or if you like the style of jewelry, you may appreciate adding it to your collection as a bit of work of art. So we've got that gorgeous piece. And another under 50 find. I think we've got like two more pieces and we'll be winding down here for the evening. Uh, we have got a really great pair of filigree earrings that feature an Aurora Borealis center. And what I do love about these also is that this gorgeous piece is also a pierced earring. So for those of you who love shopping the vintage earrings, but you always feel like, oh my gosh, everything is pierced or everything is clipped. This is a pierced earring and this one features an Aurora Borealis Borealis center. So if you have other classic Aurora Borealis jewelry, like maybe some Juliana brooches or a Juliana bracelet or something from Deliza and Elster, this would match and go very lovely with those pieces as well. So these are definitely one of my favorites and they are also an under $50 find that we have this week. Alrighty, let's wind down by talking about one of my other favorite pieces uh, and then we'll do our drawing. So we have got this gorgeous piece. This is a mother of pearl with a gold link necklace. And this is just a lovely piece. It's like a take on your classic pearl um, with the different, with the larger style beads and the gold link. And it also has got the sort of bohemian chic style. So it's kind of classic meets bohemian chic. This piece also has got a screw together clasp, so you don't have to put it over your head, uh, but you probably can if you want to, because it's a little bit longer. And I love the way that the pearls are kind of a 
flat link. They're a carved mother of pearl, but they remind me of a coin pearl with the shape. Uh, but they do have really a very creamy luminescent gold. So I love the classic gold chain. I feel that that's very in keeping with your styles that never go out of style, but I love that it's got the addition of the pearls that's going with it too. It lays so nicely. I forgive it for being gold instead of silver, Anne says. I would forgive it too, because you know, it just lays so nicely on uh, that it's one of those pieces that just lays perfectly. So when you're thinking about pieces that you could add to your look that you never really have to think twice about because they literally go with everything, this is that kind of piece. I, of course, love pieces that are eclectic, but I, of course, love pieces that are functional too. So that's what makes this piece uh, one of the ones that ranks up there within my top 10 of all the finds that we have this week. So, phew, that's a lot of jewelry. I'm interested to see. Um, so, you know, if you have been here tonight very patiently, which I know many of you have, um, we're gonna talk a little bit about what you can do here to be entered in our drawing next week and why you also want to stay tuned. Then I'll have our little buddy come in and I'll pull the name for this week's collection. So uh, going through kind of the reader mailbag slash comments too, uh, Anne just commented about the um, mother of pearl necklace and forgive it for being gold instead of silver because I know silver she is. But Anne had made a nice comment the other day about how that we were showing some of this week's collection um, again, some illustrations. And so for those of you who enjoy um, looking through both fashion as art and entertainment, uh, this is a great book. The, earlier during the week when we were talking about um, the pieces that we were displaying with each other, this book is called 100 Years of Fashion and Illustration, uh, and it is really lovely. So for those of you who enjoy being able to go through different decades, this really is 100 years of illustration. It's a nice way of being able to kind of study different periods as well as think about the way that fashion has changed throughout the last 100 years. Uh, for those of you who enjoy a little bit of art and a little bit of fun, um, this is an easy thing to read and it's an easy thing to look through even if you don't feel like reading. So I just wanted to point out for those of you who complimented us because there was more than one person, um, though Anne, thanks for kicking off that discussion. This one was called 100 Years of Fashion Illustration and I did pick this up on Amazon. So it's a really easy one. So we have got that gorgeous piece and yes, it is a nice book. So I am now going to chat with you about your homework. So your homework is to go to Vintage Meet Modern and on this thread, comment what your favorite piece was from this week's collection. So if you want to be entered to win a $25 gift card to Vintage Meat Modern next week when I go live, just go and click on this week's collection on the drop down menu and tell us what your favorite piece is. And you will automatically then have your name cut off and then put into the drawing. So it's really, really easy. So last week, the question was, tell us what your favorite brooch is on the Vintage Meat Modern website. And we are now going to pull for that. So my friend, Mr. Michael, do you wanna come on over and help? He may be very busy doing homework tonight, but we'll give him a minute. Um, so it's really easy though for you to be able to win this week. And I'm actually even giving you all a bonus that if you tag a friend on this Facebook Live, for every friend that you tag, I will put your name in here. And then next week when we poll, we will get um, extra drawings for those who are there. So we're all celebrating that joy of jewelry as I say it together. Okay, so I have the Hello Lovely box out this week. We had quite a few entries in last week and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to see who wins this week our $25 gift card. And it is Sabrina Yanez. So Sabrina, thank you so much. You are always so wonderful. I know you tune in frequently and you are also a regular customer, so we do truly appreciate you being here. Thank you for commenting last week with what your favorite brooch is. And please email us at help at vintagemeatmodern.com so the lovely Leanne Flowers can go ahead and give you your code. Now, I said there were going to be prizes and surprises, so I just gave you your prize uh, for this evening, and I'm also going to let you know that we have something really, really coming special that's coming up tomorrow. 
On Friday, we're kicking off something huge. We're kicking off something that is seven days worth of fabulous flash sales. Did I just say that? So what I'm encouraging you to do is to tune in tomorrow night here at 7.30 because I'm actually going to be giving you the list of what we have that's going on. It's pretty darn amazing. We have never done anything like this before. We've never let you know what is coming. So if you have had your eye on something on Vintage Meat Modern, or if you are looking forward to maybe getting some amazing pieces marked down at a steal of a deal, we've got something really special coming up, but you'll have to tune in tomorrow to get the details because I will be here tomorrow at 7.30. Disclaimer, it does not include the pieces um, that we're just part of the last sale. So if you have something that is like on your mind that you love, that is part of the last collection, you should go ahead and still add that to your jewelry box. So that being the case, I am very excited for you to meet me back here. And because we're doing something special for seven days, guess who's gonna be around for seven days doing lives and hanging out with you? me. So invite your friends to join us. I really want to thank you all so much for tuning in tonight. It has been so much fun. Somebody this week asked me what we were all about and I had a really great time because it was someone who actually didn't wear jewelry. And I said, you know, here at Vintage Meat Modern, what we're really all about is helping women look and feel their best every day by dressing in details. The jewelry is just the extra special touch that sets them apart from the rest. And so I love that so many of you are vintage meat modern mavens, that you go out there in the world every day and that you really do truly make the woman um, and the world a more beautiful, a more special, and a more sparkly place. It is always a complete honor and joy to get to spend any time with all of you. Rhonda, Anne, uh, Deborah. I can't go back and see the list of everything because of course I have a goofy setup where I can only see the last three people who have responded, but I know we've had a lot of people join us this evening and I know we've had a lot of people who've recently come into our community too. So I just wanna thank you all so much for your support. Thank you so much for taking times out of your busy life to celebrate the joy of jewelry with all of us. And just always remember that I'm here trying to support you on your style journey to look and feel your best every day. That's truly really what I want for each and every single one of you. So let's continue to celebrate the joy of jewelry together. It is so fun getting to source the collection and to curate it for you. Uh, I know all of these pieces are meant to be off with the right people. So as always, Take time to celebrate your inner sparkle so you can truly let your personal style shine because when you look good, you feel good. And when you feel good, you do good. And the world needs all of you in it for more of that. So from my heart and my home to your heart and your home, you all have a fantastic evening. As a special treat, I'll be back here tomorrow night at 7.30 with our big announcement so that you can kind of plan uh, maybe ahead to get your thinking caps on. And everybody have a fantastic night. And of course, I will see you all again real soon. Thanks, bye-bye.